Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be taking a look at what kind of brushes you need, depending on what kind of miniature painter you are. When I started out with a hobby, or actually when I was just looking into it, I was faced with this dilemma of what do I need for this? Like what kind of tools do I need? Because obviously everybody's looking into the models, I was do a lot of them, but you still cannot get far without a good brush. The problem is that it's really difficult to figure out what you really need as a beginner because everybody's saying different things and obviously depending on the kind of painter they are and their level, they will have very, very different advice for you. So in this video, I'll try to simplify things a little bit and come up with a couple of categories of painters and then see what kind of brushes they would need to do what they need to do. So let's jump into it. I'll walk you through the categories on what kind of brushes I would recommend. And at the end, I will also come up with a generalist kind of minimal approach of what you would need as a beginner. Okay, so here we are looking at all the different kind of brushes that I own. Obviously I have way more than this, but uh, this is a good selection of all the different types that I'm using, right? So let's take a look at the first category of painter which is somebody who is painting mainly for gaming so a batch painter or somebody who is mostly looking for just finishing models fast rather than to a really high quality so if you are in this category you are fortunate because most of the stuff that you need is actually relatively cheap as you can see for example this pack of brushes uh, cost me six quid in the uk uh, when i was there and i am already using another pack uh, i'm just keeping this in reserve because these synthetic brushes usually like fray relatively fast but that's not a problem because they are relatively cheap as well at the same time so i would definitely recommend picking up one of these you have all the different sizes and you can use them for basically almost anything except super fine highlighting the best thing about them is that even once they fray inevitably, uh, you can still use them, uh, for example, these ones, right? For different other things, like for example, painting bases or painting terrain or something like that. They serve me right up until the very end, really, because uh, if, even if they are like in this state, as you can see, this one is really screwed up now. Uh, I can still use it to, let's say, spread dry pigments on a base or something similar. So. There is almost no end to the usefulness of these brushes. If you're interested in mostly quantity rather than quality, then dry brushing is a super useful tool to, to master. And for that, obviously, you need dry brushes. As you can see, I'm not taking very good care of these guys. I've had them since the very beginning, since I started painting like three years ago. Um, and I'm not using them very much, mostly for bases, I think. But depending on what kind of painter you are, you might use them a lot or almost not at all. But if you're a batch painter or paint a lot of miniatures to battle ready standard, let's say, then this is definitely something you would want to pick up. So a pack of really basic synthetic brushes and some nice or let's say at least medium quality dry brushes. You can also go for the really cool artist opus ones, but I would only pick them up if you already know what you are doing. I think I would start with something cheaper because otherwise you might just ruin those really nice brushes. Finally, if you would want to round up your arsenal, what you could also do is to pick up a couple of higher quality synthetic brushes, like for example, this really nice new version of the Citadel brushes, or I really love this one. I use it almost every single time I paint a mini. Um, they are a little bit more expensive and usually I pick them up in art supply stores, but I think they are worth it. They are definitely not as expensive as the, the really high quality ones, but they're a little bit more expensive than these ones. And I would say you need like maybe one or two, maybe smaller sizes so that you can use them for details or something like that. So to recap, you need a basic pack of synthetic brushes, some dry brushes and some relatively higher quality synthetic brushes, but mostly these two. And obviously any previously ruined brushes will also help you in many different ways. The next category of painter is somebody who I would consider to be interested in both quantity and quality. So let's say you are still painting for mostly gaming purposes, but you want to have a really nice army and you really want to paint those details, use some advanced techniques uh, and actually go for just as much for quality as for quantity. If you have one of these guys, you are still going to be using the same tools as before. I would still suggest to mostly rely on synthetic brushes Maybe not so much on the pretty shitty ones like these guys, but more like the nicer ones like this, but especially the 
the individual ones that you can buy from either your local hobby shop or from the art supply store because they are just they last a bit longer they are a little bit more accurate right but the next thing you can also do is you can start looking into really expensive brushes my advice here is to not overdo it because you don't really need these guys that much definitely you should not use them for base coating there are better brushes for that like for example these or these don't ruin them for that there is absolutely no need for that for any highlighting you can still mostly rely on these guys as well depending on how big the project is or what you are actually doing right and you can rely on the really high quality ones to finish the job to really get the, the smallest highlights the smallest details in so try to minimize the amount that you use these and maximize the amount that you use these in my experience because you are making your own job more difficult by using a really tiny super high quality brush for base coating that was the biggest mistake that i was trying to do in the beginning i would say i would go for maybe two brushes or three maximum and i would try to find different types like for example this one this is a Winsor and newton series 7 uh, which I liked a lot in the beginning and I used it a lot. It, it already shows a little bit of wear and tear, I would say. But this is a very short brush, right? It's, it's very different from something like, for example, this one, right? Um, you use them for different purposes as well. Um, so my suggestion would be to try out both shorter and longer versions of these brushes. Like, for example, Artis Opus has an M line, uh, like this one. And I don't have any S ones here, but those are the longer brushes as far as I know. I just ordered actually one. So I would try out both and see what you would be using them for. You will learn by experience most of the time. So to recap this category, I would still go mostly for synthetic brushes, like either packs like this or individual brushes. And I would go multiple of these, different sizes, different shapes, try out what works for you and which brand is going to last you the longest because these usually fray at some point but at this point i would also try maybe one two maximum three expensive brushes and once again try out different types different sizes uh, mostly go for the smaller sizes because you definitely don't need them for uh, base coating or anything like that and see what works for you work your way up from there so the final category of painter is somebody who paints for the display case or paints mostly for quality at least. So even gaming pieces would be painted to very high quality. If you really want to know how to paint well, you want to learn all the techniques, that's where you should go for, for this kind of selection. Obviously you are going to already have a lot of these uh, at your disposal because you probably went through, let's say at least the second category and you should definitely not start with this. Don't try to just jump into a lot of different brushes because it's going to be expensive and you're going to ruin them and you will not know how to use them properly. Probably not too surprisingly, you are still going to be relying on mostly synthetic brushes. At least I do definitely until I get to the highlighting phase. In general, I try to go with the cheapest and the, the biggest brush that I can afford for that given job, right? And then once I hit my limitation with that brush, then I switch to something smaller and something more high quality. Now that I think about it, this is probably the best advice you can get when it comes to brushes to try to use the, the one that is the best fit for that job, that particular task that you are trying to accomplish. So if you're base coating, don't use a small brush. If you're highlighting, don't use a big one. It might be obvious, but there is this tendency in people, at least in me, definitely, to try to go small because it's a miniature after all, right? But actually, that's not so obvious most of the time. You should go for the biggest brush you can because then you will be painting faster. It will be easier and you are not going to ruin your brushes in the end. But let's get back to those expensive brushes because in this category, if you want to paint like this, you would need to actually own those because they are way better than, um, than the synthetic brushes when it comes to edge highlighting, detailing, and in general control. Uh, I feel always much more in control with these brushes. So whenever I want to go for more precise work, I would actually switch to these instead of these. I won't give you a recommendation about the brands because I use a wide selection of them and I actually like brushes from all of them, right? These are all really cool brands in general. Artis Opus, for example, or Da Vinci or Winsor & Newton are all excellent. And my suggestion would be to, to try out multiple, right? To try out different brands, different types of brushes, ones with a fuller belly, ones that are thinner, the ones that are shorter or longer. 
see what works for you and um, just, well, experiment. But unless you have the money, I would not suggest to buy 10, 12 of them immediately. I would just go for maybe three, four and uh, a wider selection, mostly concentrating on the smaller sizes because you will be using them towards the end of the painting process rather than towards the beginning. So don't bother going for really big ones. I almost never use this one, for example, because I would just use something like uh, like this one instead, right? It's just as good for something that is bigger. Um, so why use a super expensive one? At least that's my approach. So to recap this category, you still need synthetic brushes, a lot of them, ideally a wide variety of them. And then I would suggest starting to experiment with um, a wider selection of expensive brushes and see what works for you. Finally, let's see what you would need if you just don't know which kind of painter you are because you are just starting. So if you are new to the hobby and you just want to start with your first set of brushes, I would definitely go with these. Just buy one or two packs of it. It's relatively inexpensive and you cannot go wrong with them. Just try to go for acrylic brushes, that the ones that are really pointy because you really need a pointy end on them. Uh, I would also suggest to pick up maybe two, three uh, better quality, uh, but synthetic brushes and some dry brushes. That's the basics for, for just a newbie. And if you don't mind dropping some money on this and you already have some inspiration towards painting quality miniatures, then I would actually pick up a couple, maybe one or two good quality brushes. Like for example, these two from Artis Opus, uh, a zero and a zero zero, because you would be using them for the, the last highlights and basically just finishing up the model and the details. And the final bit of advice, uh, even though I don't want to go into caring for your brushes because that's a whole new topic uh, and a very interesting one, but I would strongly suggest to pick up some soap for your brushes. And this is specifically artist brush soap. Right? And as you can see, it's pretty nasty because I'm using it a lot, but you can also pick up this really nice artist opus one together with the brushes if you want to. Um, and use them religiously because it's going to lengthen the lifetime of your brushes by a lot. And that includes expensive brushes and the cheap brushes as well. But especially for the expensive ones, just use them all the time. Maybe I'm overdoing this a bit, but uh, I clean my brushes after every painting session, especially the, the ones that I really like to use a lot because I want to keep them around as long as I can. So these are the brushes that I would recommend using. Obviously, you can buy a lot more than these. This is just the basic setup. Let me know if you found this helpful and also if you have any questions in the comments, I will be happy to answer them. Also, if you guys are interested in any other subject, please let me know. I will be happy to create a guide out of it. And in the meantime, if you enjoyed this content, then please consider giving it a like and subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next one.